everybody, Scott Wilkinson here, editor of absforum.com. I'm here with associate editor Mark Henninger in the home of Dusty Bigham in Louisville, Texas. Dusty, thanks so much for having us in, the, in your theater. Thank you, both y'all for coming. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, we just uh, finished up Cedia. You were there for a day. Mark yes. and I were there for three long days, four days, and uh, I wanted to shoot your theater as home theater of the month, and it's a little different than what we usually do. You know, normally we have theaters that are purpose built and built from the ground up and very expensive, very elaborate. Yours is much more modest, and yet. When I saw the pictures of it, it really reflected my theater, actually, <laughs> which is in a second bedroom in my house, uh, painted black, uh, and much more modest, and I think it represents what many more people could aspire to. And so I was very thankful that you were willing to have us come in and, and take a look around, and from what we've seen, we've done some demos and stuff, and boy, it really looks great. I appreciate it very much. Yeah. Thank you. So we're going to get into some details here, uh, but first I want to start with... Um, how you got interested in the home theater hobby? I, you know, I think from a lot of people in AVS was the, the home theater in a box. You know, you brought it home, you set it up, you know, like, oh, wow, it's really cool, surround sound. And then, you know, you look around and you're like, oh, well, you know, that speaker's better. Let me add that in the mix. And then it just kind of grows and grows and grows and you buy and you sell. And um, Now, so you started with a home theater in a box, right? right. So obviously yep. you've grown a lot from there. Yes. And you moved into this house, what, five years ago? Five years ago, yeah. And uh, it was new construction. Correct. And they actually, this room was designed as a media room, right? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But you went a step farther, of course. I mean, I don't think your whoever built the house probably painted mm -hmm. the walls black. Correct, yeah. No, I painted the walls and then, um, you know, even redid some of the speaker locations, or actually most of the speaker locations for mm -hmm. the surrounds. And then, of course, adding the Atmos you know, later on. Right. And so what you're at now is a 7.1.4. Correct. Uh, with, uh, and all the speakers are golden air. They are all golden air except for the subs. Yeah. Yes. And why did you go with golden air? Um, I had deaf text before and I always liked the sound. And then, uh, I got to hear the golden ears and I mean, they just, I just really, really liked the sound. Yeah. yeah. Now what led you to want to put, uh, towers out in the room and, and they're well positioned out in the room yes. right, right up against the wall center channel as well as opposed to in walls well i i you know the initial thing was for home theater and then the more and more i got into it, and i love music and the more and more i got into it i was like you know it'd be nice to also have a space where i can listen to music and i don't have another room for that so i wanted this to kind of be to do both and then the more i got it set up the more it's kind of like music first in here for really? me. Yeah. Um, like I have this, this love seat right here so I can sit in the middle and I can still listen to the, to the two channel and be in the middle of the room, um, not have an armrest right here. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the main reason why I've got the, the big towers here is because I really enjoy listening to music. Now your uh, central processor is the Marantz 8802, right? Correct. And uh, how'd you land on that one? Uh, same thing, you know, kind of, you know, you get one receiver and then you just kind of go up and up and up. And um, I just, I, I kind of wanted to do the whole separate thing because I, I, I've always done, you know, the AV receiver and, you know, it powers everything. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go that route mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm, I'm glad I did. Mm. You have speakers that can take and, and can use right. more power than, than any AVR I know of you yeah. know, can, can output. Right. So, so what are the power amps you're using? I have the NADs to the M27. Mm -hmm. So they are, each one is seven channel amp of class D uh, amplification. Mm -hmm. And what about your projector? I have the Sony 350 mm -hmm. uh, 4K non-HDR. Non HDR. Yeah, that's that's probably your next upgrade, yes. isn't it? Yeah, I would like to have an, an HDR projector, but it just needs to be a little less expensive. <laughs> that's for well, sure. You sure. probably saw it, Cedia. If you yeah. looked at any of the projectors, the, right. the HDR projectors, which are now starting to come out, yeah, mm -hmm. are pretty expensive. Yes, very expensive. Um, I guess the least expensive probably is the Epson. Right. So, what else is unique about your theater? I mean, you've got you've got it painted black, which I love. Well, by the, speaking of which, mm -hmm. what is this black color? It's a it's a Sherwin Williams paint, 
and from what the people told me at the store, it's it's made for home theaters. Um, it's a non glare. It's very matte. Um, very and neutral. Very, doesn't really have a hue to it. Right. Yes. Um, and so that's just the one I went with. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to do it black. You know, obviously didn't want to do glossy. Right. Um, but they, they with some it, silver trim. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's okay. I, I recommend painting your door yes. black. I yeah. think that, that may be the next thing in your, right. on your list. And putting down some black rug. Correct. The problem yes. here, of course, is that the room got carpeted with the rest of the house. Yes, that is correct with these. What about the acoustic treatments in the room? They're the uh, from ATS Acoustics. Um, started out with a few of them, and then I, you know, like most of us, my OCD kind of came in and so then I had to have the same pieces on the same side and they all had to be symmetrical and the same number so that's kind of where they ended up. Mm -hmm. um, you, you recently got a new source device as well, huh? Yes, just uh, Friday I got the new Panasonic uh, 4K Blu-ray player mm -hmm. so we got to play with that a little bit today. So yeah. it's, it's very nice. And, and from what we've seen today, yeah. it really is, is yeah. performing very well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, but you also have gaming in here? Yes, I have the uh, Xbox One S and the uh, PlayStation 4, so I'll play those. Um, the Xbox One S would, has the 4K up convert for the games, mm -hmm. and it looks really, really nice. It's on pretty, games? Yeah, on games. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a true 4K game, but the up convert is, looks pretty spectacular. What's the screen? Tell us about the screen. So it's a, it's a, it's a Dragonfly, it's a uh, 106 screen. It's a, well, it's a six uh, inch diagonal. Yes, sorry. 16 yeah. by 9. Yes, yes, 16 by 9. Uh, 1.3 gain, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. And it's the matte white screen. Mm -hmm. um, didn't get any reflective one because it's it's here in the in the meteor room. Right, so, so you I didn't need ambient light rejection. Right, yeah. Makes so. sense. Makes sense. Well, Mark, you and I have been sitting here uh, watching some stuff uh, in here. What do you think? I thought it looks and sounds fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate and, it. And especially just coming from Cedia, yeah. you know, to, I, can, I can tell you that, yeah, what you've achieved here, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's right on the reference level, you know, uh, beautiful blacks uh, for the money, I mean, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> um, and, and as for the system, I mean, I, I really got to tell you, the sound just is, is top-notch. I, I appreciate it's that very much. Yeah, very much. Very much. Thank the, you. The subs are SVS. You had yes. them before. Yes, yeah. I have had them. Yeah, um, but they're nice big ones. They're mm -hmm. in the corners. Right. You got them tuned up really nice. Thank you. Uh, you got a real, almost like like uh, you know, uh, butt kicker type yeah. thing going on in the seats. Right. But it's not actually transducers in the seats. Yeah, right. it's right. genuine right. bass. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. shaking your butt. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But tuneful. You know, not mm -hmm. just woofy and and just boom. boom yeah. Know, sure. We look. Yeah. yeah. We listen to music. Uh, yeah, we, we could tell that uh, it's it's integrated properly. You got no weird humps or or, right. or or dips. The main thing here is that this theater demonstrates that you don't have to spend you know mega bucks right mm -hmm. to get really good performance. Right. You know, it's again on that price curve, on that knee, what I call it. And you could spend you know hundreds of thousands of dollars and get an in improvement, mm -hmm. but how much improvement? Right. You know. Right. What you've got here works so well at a reasonable budget mm -hmm. that I really wanted to show mm -hmm. everybody. So thanks so much for oh, having us. Thank you very much, both y'all. It's an honor and yeah. just tickled to death that y'all are here. <laughs> thank you for inviting us to. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It. All right. So that's it from Dusty Bigham's home theater here in Louisville, Texas.